hello welcome back i'm claire this is purple poppy and today we're on our junk journal july number six which is layers on layers now i have to be honest and say i've already started recording this once and there was a problem and the camera shut off so some of it's already been done so i do apologize but i will catch you up so the first catch up was this one from yesterday once i turned the camera off i decided um, it needed some extra here so i just put a couple of bits of fabric there and down the spine and did the thumb hole okay and then for today layers on layers i did use this invoice type stamp and stamped there okay i also showed you let's close this back up there we go um that i had done an emboss sheet and i inked it with you but obviously you've missed that now sorry um and i did tear out some of the old book page that was on my table from yesterday and also some of this hand written invoice and not invoice uh, diary entry i've then added a little bit of coffee dyed lace and i was saying that i would put this butterfly or moth i never quite know what it is um die cut across the center and that would be my layers on layers but i said that this looked a bit plain so i moved all of that over there out of the way and i was just going to look in my uh, napkin tray and see if i could find something that would make it more interesting now that for example would definitely make it more interesting wouldn't it so we pull some of that off yeah we pull some of that off we will glue this up now where is my glue here it is so I'm using glue stick rather than wet glue, which I'd use, usually use with napkin, because obviously I want to use it. I don't want it to become a problem. And you see the water in the wet glue is making it arch, which is awesome, because we could add that idea to our page. So get rid of the mucky mat for a minute I don't want to be sticking stuff on it that I don't want stuff on it and then I'm just gonna now the sensible thing here let's be honest would have been if I'd have stuck this paper to the card and then run it through the die cut but why would I do anything the easy way eh? so make sure it's totally stuck down like so and then i'm going to turn it over and not use my fabric scissors and i'm going to try and trim it away actually do you know what would be even easier and that would be if i ripped it because the answer is this is decoration to our card doesn't matter if it's wrong so let's totally rip that edge away also it's going to add to the interest it is going to mean i'm covered in glue which is you know never what you really want but Okay. Then we can just push those bits to the back. 
as I say, make your life easier and cover the card with napkin first because it will be easier, so much easier. But we can definitely make this work. And hey, it's already gone wrong with the phone ringing and uh, the camera shutting off and everything going wrong. So there you go, you see we've got the shape. So then this top bit, a little bit of patience. It's quite nice actually, it's sitting quietly, whiffing bits of paper. And then if I find my craft knife, and by cutting two sides, I can then just poke that through. So, or obviously you could rip it out, whichever way around suits. more time decorating this moth stroke butterfly than I have um, doing the rest of the page. It's quite amusing really. There we go. Sorry, I'm not very talkative, am I? It's because I'm concentrating. <laughs> right. I've got a nice sharp knife, obviously. Makes it very, very much easier. Having said that, one of the problems you run into with a super sharp knife is um, cutting yourself. I do it every day, well not every day, but I do it fairly frequently. But then if you haven't realised by now, I'm a bit of a clumsy pup. So, super easy to cut yourself when you're clumsy. I mean for this I've got the not quite in the palm of my hand, but you know what I mean. Right, that now looks a whole lot more interesting than it did, doesn't it? Well, I think it does. So, I've just given a bit of a bend to the centre of his wings. I don't know why I bother doing this because once you close the book it goes flat anyway but it just makes you feel good. Okay let's bring our mucky mat back. Trying to be good today and the first thing I'm going to do I'm only using glue stick and I'm just going to paper to paper so glue stick's fine. Glue up my embossed piece and that's going about there. Well not about, it's there now isn't it? So there's no moving it now Claire. That bit goes there. The long thin bit is the piece that sticks off the top and I've glued the wrong side, that's fairly typical. So now it's going the other way around. And the diary page there. So that's again staggered. Come in a little bit. Staggered there. 
I got whoops a little bit in the centre there to put our bit of lace and then on our moth stroke butterfly <laughs> I'm going to glue the middle so the body and I'm going to glue the ends of the wings and try and stand him up a bit also I think doing this with the paper makes it look a bit more raggedy looking all right so he goes down there and then they come up a little bit and stick there like so and then whoops that one's the same so we have got bring it up close for you we've got our stamping which is layer one we've got our embossed paper which is layer two We've got layer three in our old book page, layer four with our diary, and then our fifth layer is our moth stroke butterfly. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. All my tags falling out my front pocket again. Quite pleased with that. And then I just have to question if I am completely finished or if I'd also like to use the small one. I'm going to say one now rather than butterfly or moth and because the other one is um, decorated if we could maybe glue that on for emphasis so what I'll do there is I'll just um, run the ink just round his edges just to pick that up a little bit and make it stand out even more this is just standard craft card if you're in the UK I get mine from the works you get a pack of about 15 sheets for a pound so I mean you can't go wrong really can you you can't go wrong right so then we're just gonna glue down his body again not his wings this is his body and then that is going to go smack bang over the body and then we've got this much more sort of three dimension there so there you go there is my layers on layers for day six of junk journal july Stay safe. I'll be back with you very soon. Take care.